Google just announced the latest AI, Gemini 2.0 Flash. And there's a reason it's named Flash, because this thing is insanely quick. And let's go ahead and let me show you. They have three different options at the time. They have the regular 2.0 Flash. 2.0 Flash Thinking Experimental. So this is for multi-step reasoning. And they have the Flash Thinking Experimental with apps. So this is like for YouTube, Maps, and Search. And I've tried all of them. And for the most part, if you're asking general questions, you could probably get away with the first two. But if you want to get something specific for like YouTube content or just ideas, this is a good option there. And then they have the 1.5 Flash previous model. In addition, they have Gemini Advance which is the upgraded version. So first off, let me show you some of the stats because you might be thinking, what, what is this? What's the difference between ChatGPT? Now we got DeepSeek, now we got Claude, you name it. Well, first off, let's go look at the stats. So here is the current charts and I actually was using Gemini Advance, the pro version 1.5 when they first released that last year, or even I don't remember exact date, but I was using the paid version where I was paying monthly for it. And at the time, the reason for that was because it was the only AI that had unlimited responses or prompts. At the time, ChatGPT, you could pay 20 bucks a month, but it would stop you at like 25 and it's increased over time. But at the time of that uh, release, Gemini Advanced Pro 1.5 was the only option. And now you can see here, we have flashlights. And then there's a the current 2.0 flash, which uh, we can see. And then there's a pro 2.0, which I'm not sure if that's the current one right now or if that's experimental, they haven't released yet. But regardless, just look at the difference in the stats. So with 2.0, let's go for example, coding. It's slightly higher than the advanced model, the old one, the one that you were paying essentially for. So that's already a good option to see. And then additionally, you can see the regular flash is slightly higher from pretty much everything compared to the previous Pro model. And then if you see the new 2.0 Pro, it's basically even better. So that's not the big thing that I like about this. And I haven't really tested this for coding yet, which I will, since you guys do follow a lot of you watching for programming. But for now, let me just tell you something. Uh, if you've ever used AI, let's go ask it a simple question. Let's say, um, tell me the top trends going on in the world right now. And I'll press enter and I'm using the regular 2.0 flash. And you can see here, this is the current setup of how it responds. And you know, it looks like a typical, uh, you know, Google Gemini response. If you've actually uh, done this before, but now, Let's switch it to the uh, 2.0 and I'll say, uh, tell me the current trends right now. And let's just press enter and look at the speed. The speed for this uh, flash thinking, it's quick. And I'm recording two at the same time, so maybe my computer is like slightly delayed because uh, I have everything going on, but it's significantly faster. And if you've ever used uh, other pro AI softwares, at least, as of today, their responses are slightly delayed. It's like kind of like you're watching a YouTube ad for like five seconds. You can significantly feel the difference with this flash versus the uh, other ones. And what's cool about it is you can see it has this typical response, but it's like in depth. And you can see the length of this, the amount of uh, content that has been uh, replied was actually quite large, which before if you ever start early in AI, it's like, you get like a small paragraph and then you run out of credits pretty much. But this is free right now. And you can see here, it shows the process of like how it thinks, which I think is really cool. So if you can say like um, something, for example, this is essentially like OpenAI released the deep research and then I even DeepSeek has something similar, but basically you can say, uh, give me insights on the next business model that will prevail in the AI AI era. I'll just say like this. And it's interesting because see, look, it's cooking it up. It's cooking it up. It's showing like all these different um, options. And this is actually something I'm interested in learning anyways is what does AI consider as the next opportunity in this current era? And you can see here, just so, so some typical stuff, business models. And right now I don't see, let's see, uh, the responses, yes, yeah, so it says like expertise, 
marketplaces uh i could specify i could say like give specific uh startup app ideas or something but you can see the main thing i wanted to highlight is the the speed of the response and then for example if we were to go to like this third option with youtube or maps i can say like what are the top youtube uh let's say channels for ai and let's just see how it does for this and then i'll say I'll use google search tool asking it and let's just see so you have a bunch of these guys and i i'm actually familiar with a couple of these um like friedman you name it what about for uh business pod yeah podcast and now we can see here it's gonna show us again, and look, it's linking, and I'm, I'm sure if I oh, highlight over this, yep, see it's a Google URL. And you can see here, this is kind of cool because obviously Google, YouTube are combined together, so it's it's actually a really interesting um, AI so that if you have interest in like, um, what are the best videos to learn how to code? For example, since a lot of you follow for coding, and you can see if you code Cam Net Ninja, yes, a lot of these guys I know are on the, um, at least been in the coding space. And you can see they link it, at least, I'm not sure if these are, I have to click it later, but yeah, I can see that their YouTube links as well. And this is easy, like this is so much easier when it comes to research. So let's go switch back to, uh, I'll go to the flash thinking one. And what I wanna do is I wanna see how well this can actually write code because as of now, I've tested all of the current AIs as they came out. And to my knowledge, it seems like at least DeepSeek at the time, they had the best turnaround for a free option. The paid ones is hard to, uh, I wouldn't say I want to compare those paid ones because again, like it's essentially which one right now today is the best option for the best amount of value that everyone can access. So technically, if it's free, then I mean, it should be better because everyone else can test it out themselves. So DeepSeek technically, I think, did better then ChatGPT, uh, the twenty dollar a month option when it was uh, when DeepSeek is free. So let's see if Gemini Flash can do the same. So I'll say write code for a website in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Make it super. I'm just gonna say like random words. Amazing with an incredible UI design. Have all the necessary details in a website such as the menu uh, sections i'm not going to specify it. i'm going to do it footer etc surprise me boom so now let's see the speed look at that it's just going crazy super fast like this is actually insane because if you've never used the ais before like you don't realize like how quick this is and this is Sometimes even like ChatGPT, it takes forever and it just it just like stops and it, it just breaks. And then I have to like refresh my screen. But look, this so far is working really well. And look, let's see, we got some HTML. Let's see. And let's see what else. We got CSS. There we go. So I like right away that this uh, separates it. When I did DeepSeek, it didn't. Uh, DeepSeek was like all in one code block. And then there's a JavaScript. All right, so this looks like the code, and look at the response. The amount of content, or actually letter characters in this response is absolutely insane. And the fact this is free, when I was paying for the Pro for a lot of AIs like last year, I could not even get half this response, and I was paying monthly. So AI is moving mad quick. Like it's, it's going so fast, guys, so be prepared. So now let's go ahead and uh, let's test it out. So I got VS Code here. Let me go uh, index.html. Let's put a uh, CSS and let's just do app.js. Yeah, my coding part isn't um, perfect, so you might not be able to see the top of my screen, but no worries. All that matters is you can see the results of what this code says. So let's go to the styling. Let's go here and let's try this out here. Let's go to app.js and let's go. See, let's see too. I want to see if it actually. Uh, it automatically imported everything too. Let's go here, paste. So if I go back to index, let's see, we got the style. So they use style, so I gotta update my, my file real quick. So this one says style, and then the app, let me check. Oh, they use scripts. So let's just, let's just copy that one. So let's say script. 
So now, if you've never coded before, don't worry. Uh, just just sit back and chill. Now we're gonna see what it actually looks like. All right, here we are. This is the current design of the website, and right off the bat, it looks very very basic. And uh, yeah, so it looks like as of right now, the first iteration of this code is not impressive. It's very very basic. So let's see if I click on these. It does change. It does have all the pages and the templates and the defaults of this current design I say is well it's it's a website but this is something like I would say is a template that is super super simple so what I want to do is I need to say the design is is very basic and it looks like a typical template I need a much better design that top design agencies only can make so improve everything and make sure the pictures are loading properly on the site so let's try this so I'll usually I'll do two or maybe another problem depending on the result of this and then we can get a gauge in terms of the ability but regardless, it's t this is free, so I, st I still can't be too critical on it because for coding, maybe most people might not even use this one for code, but for other things like researching with YouTube, for example, maps, search, etc., I could see how this could be insane, especially if someone was like looking up um, whatever, best, best uh, restaurants in your city, best uh, gyms, best books, what YouTube channels to watch for whatever topic you can think of. I can see this being basically, this could replace, literally I had some ideas that were designed around researching and, and finding specific things. And this pretty much replaces that. So yeah, it basically does what a, some apps are currently out there right now that people made. It pretty much is doing it already for them. So here we got our new code. So let's try this one more time. See if we can get a, a better results and then if it's still a little bit behind then who knows we'll see in a second but right now let's do this one more time let me go for the JavaScript now where you at okay this is a dang there's a lot of CSS holy moly all right let me see hold on let's go here all right yeah this one here copy the code Let's go to the scripts. Let's paste this in, and hopefully this does something. Open with live server. Oh man! <laughs> so right now it's it's different. Let's see. Okay, this is this is better. This is definitely better. The only problem is the um, the images aren't loading. But this is a cool little mouse effect. I've, I've never seen this mouse effect before. Let me see what happens if I uh, click. So what I can say, let me try to do something really quick. Uh, let's say, here, let's, let's do one more problem. Let's say the images are not loading. Can you ensure images are correct? Or find new ones that actually will load. All right, so now we are trying one more attempt. Let's see if this fixes anything. And let's see here. So it said this reply here, but it's it's sending it in like individual uh, links. I need to say, let's say, send me the full index code block because I ain't trying to copy this one by one. And if this doesn't do it, then we'll see from here. But uh, here's a full code block. Hopefully it's already fully uh, typed out. So there it is. And I don't think there's even an image folder actually. Method one and create images for the same directory. Okay, so what it's saying is basically it's making me uh, create an images folder and then it's saying to add the images. I'll say, no, I don't want to create an image folder, just hard, just code the image links directly into the code. So this is a, let me see if I can do this again. This is a trick that you can do kind of like if it has access to images on the public. So if this does work, then we will see.
Oh yeah, so it's using Unsplash, so hopefully this fixes it. Yep, 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 okay. So now, the final test, and I know how to fix this even if this it doesn't work just because of um, the setup, but let's just see if this does something better. All right, doesn't look like it worked. So ideally, we do have one picture, which basically means like one out of the ones showing up. Oh, and even over here, there's a picture showing up here. So yeah, technically, if I really wanted to, I could go in and individually add the images, which would take like maybe, you know, three minutes. So I can't really be too hard on it, but overall, this does look significantly nicer. So it's, it's slowly getting there. It's still not like, you know, fully there. But it's definitely, for a free AI, this is quite good, I would say. So again, definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? And aside from that, like and subscribe for more videos.